Hello and welcome to Spike's Awesome Hot Takes, a.k.a. The Dollar Bin, a.k.a. Spike's One Dollar Records. This is episode three, and we're going to be looking at an artist named Arthur Prysock. The album is from 1967 on Verve. It's called Love Me, and the song is called I'm Glad There Is You. Arthur Prysock was, a, in his day, uh, a very well-known, very well-respected uh, kind of jazz, soul, uh, baritone vocalist. The, um, the author and critic, uh, Will Friedwald, who is one of my favorites, um, he categorizes uh, Arthur Prysock as one of the great black baritones. And those are people who come from this kind of lineage where they were influenced by Billy Eckstein, who was a great... Uh, singer himself and also a band leader. People like Dizzy Gillespie um, came through the Billy Eckstein band. Other examples of black baritone singers uh, in this kind of a similar style would be Johnny Hartman and then later Lou Rawls and then even further down the road like Isaac Hayes and Barry White. But Arthur Prysock, he kind of fits right here in the center of that lineage. He started out as a smooth, urban blues crooner, uh, working with the Buddy Johnson Band in the late 40s. Uh, they were very popular. Probably their most well-known song was uh, the standard, Since I Fell For You. Um, but after working with the Buddy Johnson Band, kind of through the 40s and into the early 50s, he went solo. And he did a bunch of records, but probably his most well-known album, um, was a record he did with Count Basie. And uh, it really showcases that kind of fine line that he walked between singing standards, but with this really soulful, deep voice. And, you know, honestly, there's not a lot of like up-tempo stuff. His, uh, his bag is definitely kind of a cabaret, mostly slower songs. Later in his career, he did some stuff that was kind of disco, kind of soul music, and he toured a lot. He worked with his brother, who was a well-known saxophonist, uh, Red Prysock. If you go online, you're looking for videos of Arthur Prysock. There's only a couple of things. Uh, there's a fascinating video of him where he's talking with, uh, he's doing an interview with Dick Clark and he, on uh, American Bandstand. He doesn't get to sing. He's just standing there talking and uh, but it's a great little clip. And then much later, there's a, there's a video of him on Regis on the morning show in the early 90s. And you can see how kind of revered uh, he is as a singer. All right, so the album, Love Me, uh, I picked it up for a dollar. Um, it is a very kind of generic looking cover. It's got, you know, uh, an anonymous couple, like, Kissing on a Beach at Sunset. You know, it's one of those type of albums. Uh, easy to kind of go like, eh, this is probably not going to be that great. But I picked it up anyway and uh, checked it out. And one of the things that really drew me into the album was the arrangements. Uh, and the arranger on this record is a guy named Mort Garson. He had a fascinating career. He was a pianist, songwriter, arranger. Um, he is the author of the hit song, our Day Will Come from 1962, a big hit for Ruby and the Romantics. And then later in his career, he made himself this reputation as like the top call arranger for easy listening, lounge jazz, bossa nova, soft pop music, working with everybody from Julie London, the Sandpipers, Esther Phillips. He was one of the first arrangers to work with Bill Withers. And of course, he's on this Arthur Prysock album. And then later in his career, um, probably like late 60s, early 70s, he went on to be the first, one of the first big champions of the Moog synthesizer, which was one of the early uh, synthesizers. And in fact, it was his kind of trippy synth music that they used to accompany the TV footage of Apollo 11. So it's no wonder that I was drawn in by these arrangements because Mort Garson was one of the best. All right, so uh, last but certainly not least is the song. The song is called I'm Glad There Is You. This was a huge hit, and it's a very well-known song. came out in 1941. It was written by Jimmy Dorsey and a piano player named Paul Madeira. Um, Jimmy Dorsey was a saxophonist, 
and big band leader Paul Madeira had worked with uh, people as big as uh, Bix Beiderbecke in the 20s. So uh, the original version of I'm Glad There Is You was recorded by Jimmy Dorsey's band and had a vocal on, an, on the record by uh, Bob Eberly, who's a little less well-known uh, as a singer now, but at the time, uh, all of the big bands had kind of like their signature singer, and Bob Eberly was that guy for the Dorsey band. This song has one of my all-time favorite lyrics in it, and the line is, In this world of overrated pleasures and underrated treasures, I'm glad there is you. That's, I mean, it's no wonder that it's such a, a highly regarded standard with, with lyrics like that. Other people who loved this song and recorded it included uh, Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, Tony Bennett, Chet Baker, Sarah Vaughn, Smokey Robinson, Peggy Lee, Sammy Davis Jr., Freddie Cole, and more recently, it's been recorded by Jamie Cullum, Seth MacFarlane, and even Beyonce did a version of it. My favorite version, though, is this Arthur Prysock uh, rendition. I, I would also recommend checking out the Julie London version. But without further ado, here is I'm Glad There Is You. Any state in love 